All right, now we're ready to do the soldering on that board to replace the five capacitors that are bulging. Um, to do that, of course, you need your board. And you'll need some solder wick, lead-free solder, a capacitor kit with the capacitors to replace, and a soldering iron. Um, first thing that you'll need to do now is remove the plastic insulator. It's held on with some plastic rivets and you just take like your wire, uh, wire cutters here or a pair of pliers and these you just squeeze the tops and poke them back through the board so that you can reuse them to put the board back on once the repair is done. So, four little rivets and we just Now that we have the plastic insulator, set it aside um, to put back on when we're finished. Now, to remove the capacitors from the board, you'll use your soldering iron and the desolder wick. And basically what you'll do is put your desolder wick on the leg of the capacitor and then put the soldering iron there. The soldering iron is going to heat the solder and the wick will absorb it to free that leg of the capacitor to be removed. And after we do the first one, we go to the second leg. And then we should be able to just remove the capacitor from the board. Um, so we'll go through and do that on our bad capacitors. well worth it on these monitors to get them fixed because of the specifications of these monitors you won't be able to go out and buy a replacement one that would be anything near the quality of these monitors. Okay, so we have the two on the backlight inverter side. Now we need to get the three on the power supply side. And on these, as you're removing them, um, if you write down the location and the value, or if you need, it's on our web, posted on our website at ccl-la.com, uh, which capacitors go in which locations. You have three different values of capacitors for the repair. The um, capacitor kit comes with all of the needed capacitors of the right uh, ratings. But bes besides having the capacitance rating, you also have to make sure that you're doing the repair with capacitors that are rated for the high heat operating temperatures inside the monitor and also uh, what is called equivalent series resistance or ESR and the kits that are available do have the proper ratings and the proper values of the capacitors so you don't have to worry about not getting the correct ones. Um, it's not something that you'd be able to go to like a regular Radio Shack type place and get. They have general purpose parts, not parts that are designed to repair um, high speed switching power supplies like you find in electronic circuits. All right, now that we have our capacitors removed, now we'll just repopulate the board with the new capacitors. If you notice on the board, there's circles where the capacitors go. One side of the circle is open and one side of the circle is kind of grayed in. The grayed off and the grayed in or shaded side is the negative terminal. And on the capacitor, you have one side of the capacitor has a gray stripe. That's the negative side of the capacitor. So you just want, when you're inserting it, you want to make sure you put the negative side on the capacitor into the negative um, contact on the board so that they don't cause problems when you reassemble the board. And always best to make sure 
and double then double check it before you do the soldering. And like I said, we're just going to repopulate the board with the capacitors. And what I'm doing is after you poke it through, you just separate the legs a little bit so that they stay in place until we're, we have them soldered in. All right, now we have the capacitors replaced. Now we just need to do that soldering to make the electrical connections. So again, you take your soldering iron and solder. And what you want to do is put your soldering iron on the terminal, heat it up momentarily, then apply the solder, and then the solder will melt and make a nice, clean connection. The solder connection should be bright and shiny, metallic colored. Um, if it's not shiny, then that is what's called a cold solder joint, and you'll need to heat it up and reapply a little bit of solder to make sure that it is a good shiny solder joint. Alright, now we have the new capacitor soldered in and now you take your diagonal cutters and cut off the remaining legs of the capacitors. And then reinstall your insulation layer. And there we are, one repaired power supply board. Now we'll take it back over to the monitor and install it and see if we've got a good repair on it.